We're going to be talking about rational expressions and functions, and in particular, in this part, we're going to be talking about the domain of rational expressions. First of all, to review a little bit of what you have done before, uh, let's go back and uh, think about rational numbers. Remember that rational numbers are what you have considered before as fractions. So think of fractions. A rational number is a number that we can write as a quotient of two integers. So it's important to realize that a and b have to be integers. And in particular, that the number b cannot be equal to 0, because if you remember, we cannot divide by 0. So examples of rational numbers are 2 thirds, uh, negative 5, because we can write the negative 5 as negative 5 over 1. It is a quotient of two integers. Um, negative 10 over 5, for example. The number 0 is a rational number, because we can write it as 0 over another number, for example, 0 over 5. Just to remind you uh, about 0, 0 is OK when it's in the numerator of a rational number. But if it's in the denominator, for example, 3 over 0, this is not a rational number. In fact, it's an undefined number. We cannot find a value for it. Um, another expression, another number that is undefined, another expression that's undefined because it's not a number, is 0 over 0. Any time that you have 0 in the denominator, you have an undefined expression. And that's going to be important when we work with rational expressions. Now, remembering this, where we have a numerator over a denominator, then in the same way, we're going to be thinking about rational expressions. A rational expression is a quotient of two polynomials where the polynomial in the denominator is not equal to 0. Because remember, we cannot divide by 0. Examples of such uh, rational expressions are the following. We can have x plus 2 divided by x. We can have 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 4. We can have x squared minus 2x plus 5 divided by 3 minus x squared. These are. Um, examples of quotients of polynomials. One polynomial in the numerator divided by another polynomial in the denominator. For example, uh, 2x plus 5 is a rational expression because we can express it as 2x plus 5 over 1. So it's uh, sort of a simplified version of a rational expression. Now, uh, because we have denominators here and we do not want the denominators to be 0, we have to be really careful about throwing out the values of x that would make these denominators 0. So let's take the polynomial x plus 2 over x. I, I should say, let's take the rational expression x plus 2 over x. This expression is defined everywhere except where x is equal to 0. except for x equal to 0. Then the rational expression is not defined. And so what we're doing right now is trying to find the values of x, which will give us a defined rational expression. Another way of saying this is we're looking for the domain of the rational expression. The domain of the rational expression is all the values of the variable, in this case x, which makes the expression defined. So the domain of the rational expression is the values of x in this case x is the variable the values of the variable which make the expression defined. And so one thing we can do in finding domains is to throw out the values for which the expression is not defined. So the domain of the expression x plus 2 over x is the set of numbers which make the expression undefined, which would be the set of numbers which give us 0 in the denominator. So we'll throw out x equals 0. 
and keep everything else. So the domain is everything but uh, x equals 0. Uh, let's consider the expression 3x minus 2 over x plus 4. The domain for this expression is all the values of x which do not give us 0 in the denominator. That is, all the values of x which are not equal to negative 4, and so forth. Let's do one more of these as an example. Let's look at the expression x squared. We had this a little bit earlier. x squared minus 2x plus 5 over, uh, or let's change the one we had earlier. How about if we have x squared minus 1? x squared minus 2x plus 5 over x squared minus 1. Now, as you know, we don't want to have x squared minus 1 to be equal to 0 because that would make an undefined expression. And so one way of looking at this is to say, well, x uh, squared minus 1 is x minus 1 times x plus 1. We do not want that to be 0, and therefore we don't want this factor to be 0. And so that would say x minus 1 cannot be equal to 0, or the other factor cannot be 0. That would be the x plus 1. x plus 1 cannot be equal to 0. Finally, we say x cannot be 1, or x cannot be a negative 1. So the domain in this case is all the values except for x equals plus or minus 1. Okay? Now. Because we have rational, uh, the rational expressions are expressions, we can also think of rational functions. So let's consider a rational function. It's a function which is defined as a rational expression. For example, f of x equals x squared plus 2 over x. Given a value of x, we can find the value of the function, and we can call that value y. And so because it's a function, we could also graph this function. In this case, we're not going to graph it, but simply show that we can find points on the graph by using a table of values. So if x is equal to 1, we're going to find f of 1. That means we're going to replace x by 1 everywhere we see an x. So this will be 1 squared plus 2 divided by 1. And so this will give us a 3 over 1, or simply a 3. When x equals 1, the function, the value of the function is equal to 3. Let's do um, f of negative 2, for example. What is that? Well, we would plug in negative 2 where we see an x, so we'd have negative 2 squared plus 2 divided by a negative 2. And what do we get? Well, negative 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. We have 6 divided by a negative 2, and that gives us a negative 3. So uh, when x is equal to negative 2, the value of the function is negative 3. Now, as, you, as, as with rational expressions, we have to be careful that the function is well defined, and therefore we cannot give the function a, a value of x which will make the expression x squared plus 2 over x undefined. So if I were to try to evaluate f of 0, I would end up with 0 squared plus 2 divided by 0, and because we're dividing by 0, this is an undefined value. It's not in the domain of the function, and therefore we cannot use that. So rational functions are similar to rational expressions. We can evaluate them for any value of x.